hop on board the plan that identifies solutions to the increasing demand for transit in our growing valley. Here with us to talk this morning about the 18 month study called On Board is Raymond Hess. Raymond is the Director of Planning for the Regional Transportation Commission of Southern Nevada. It's great having you, my friend. Good morning, Sean. Thanks for having me. All right, so uh, for, for those who don't know, because we see the RTC logo, obviously we see it on the buses, but we see it other places as well. What is RTC's role in the community? Sure, so most people know us as the uh, the, the bus folks. We, yes. we run transit in the valley, so uh, you know all the buses that you see, that, that is our purview, so mm -hmm. we're working on that. But some of the things that people may not realize is we are the traffic management center. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, working with the cities and the county and, and Nevada Department of Transportation, we coordinate the signal timing, so all the traffic lights are- So you're the guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're those folks. <laughs> Um, and then even the dynamic message signs that you see on the freeway that say crash up ahead oh, or wow. you know 10 minutes to Tropicana exit, whatever the case may be, uh, that's through our FAST department as well. Uh, and then another thing we do, which is the department I'm in, is uh, we do regional transportation planning and funding. Uh, so through our streets and highways department, we get uh, different types of funding, fuel tax as well as sales tax mm -hmm. that gets redistributed to the cities and the county. Uh, and then my division looks at long range transportation planning uh, and comprehensive planning for the region. And this is what Onboard is all about. Exactly. Let's talk about this. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, you know, Onboard is, uh, what we're trying to do is come up with a comprehensive transit vision for the valley. Uh, and we're just in the very beginning stages of this process. We're looking at a lot of data, but at the same time, we also want a lot of community input into this process and uh, so we're we're looking at three different factors we're looking at our existing bus service mm -hmm. our, what we call traditional transit how can we make that better how mm -hmm. can we increase frequency how can we increase coverage area how can we make transit more fa faster and more reliable uh, then we're also looking at high capacity transit and when I say high capacity transit I'm looking at kind of that next order magnitude of transit. So things like light rail, mm -hmm. things like bus rapid transit, modern streetcar, mm -hmm. transit that operates in a dedicated lane. Uh, and then we're also going to be looking at emerging technology. We want to know what's out there. What are the things that are going to uh, increase demand or decrease demand for transit? What are some of the, the cool tech things that you can incorporate into transit to make it more reliable and, and, and higher functioning? It, we were just talking during, during the, the, the satellite just then about uh, Hyperloop being one of those emerging technologies. Could that work? Because they, they say LA to San Francisco, LA to New York. What about Summerlin to, to Lake Mead? I mean, that could work, perhaps. So yeah, we, we'll definitely, we're gonna be looking at all those types of emerging technologies uh, on the back end of the plan to know how they might factor in. Um, and and we, we don't, we, everything's on the table. We wanna make sure that we consider things and, and we don't leave any rock unturned, as it were. I mean, I, I'm guessing a couple of reasons why the, the plan is needed is A, um, obviously we have a growing population here in Southern Nevada. B, it seems like the younger demographic, where I remember I was thrilled to get my license, I couldn't wait, it seems like that's changing. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So, you know, on population growth, right now we have about 2.1 million residents in wow. Southern Nevada. That's expected to increase to 2.7 million in about 10 years. Wow. Uh, so to put that in perspective, the city of Henderson is roughly 300,000 people. Mm -hmm. Imagine adding the population of two more city of Hendersons in the next 10 years and all the demand that that's gonna put on our transportation network. Where are they going? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then similarly, visitors, right? We have 43 million visitors in yeah. about 10 years. We're expecting 53 million visitors. Wow. And so how are we gonna accommodate all of those people? How are we gonna move them around our community? Uh, and we think that transportation and transit is one of the solutions. So 2025 is like that magic year that you're looking at. And, and beyond, we're actually gonna look out to 2040. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it, how can people share their vision, what they think would be a good option for? Yeah, so that? right now we have a, uh, a survey online that folks can fill out. Uh, if you go to onboardsnv.com, mm -hmm. uh, you can find information about this survey and this tool. And then that's our website as well. So we'll continue to post information on that. And right now we're just asking, what are the sort of things we should be looking at? Should we be looking at frequency? Should we be looking at serving new areas of the community? What are the priorities of the community when we look at transit and how we can incorporate that into our study? Um, and then as we get a little further along in this process, we'll actually start drawing lines on maps to identify where possible corridors might be, mm -hmm. and then we'll go back out to the public and get feedback from the, them on that as well. Then the nibbies come out and it becomes <laughs> this big political situation. But you know what though, this is how, this is how growth is spurred. Yeah. And it's uh, the hard work that you're doing now that's gonna pay off in the future. It's great yeah. having you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right, what do you think? There's a survey online about onboard. You should take advantage of this. OnboardSNV.com is the website. Uh, the number is also right there on your screen for uh, RTC SNV. RTC, proud sponsor of the Morning Blend. They're also on Facebook and Twitter. You should like them. You should follow them. Just do it.